Hey you guys, it's Jen. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the MAC eyeshadows that I have. I'm trying to do these lumped in together so there's not so many of them. But I have these um, really long ones. They're really skinny and really long. And I also have this one here from a holiday. And I want to make sure like this one is in my current shop, my stash. So I want to swatch all of this stuff for you guys. And then I think I just have my small nine pans left. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with Mischief Minx, and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Um, I have used this one a little bit, but I definitely haven't given these the love they deserve. I also don't feel like the quality is the same as their single eyeshadows, so let's just go ahead and start. Um, I'll start with Mischief Minx, which is the name of the palette. And I'm going to try and swatch it a little over here because I know I have so many. But this is the first one. Um, and then there is V Frisky. So I guess it's very frisky, but it just says V Frisky. Which is just, uh, what is that even? It looks like a bronzy gold or like a, a deeper gold version. Um, and then there's Natural Tease. I don't even know if you can still get these, to be honest. Um, shenanigans or she nanigans. Flaming Femme, which is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is really gorgeous. I love that color. Holy crap, that's so pretty. I wish they had a big pan. It's just one of the little pans, so I kind of wish it was a big one. Um, this one is in Schemer. <laughs> it's so weird. Schemer. These are really pretty so far. This palette's very nice. And been there, done that. Um, totally Trouble. Ooh, that's really nice. That's a that's darker than carbon almost, and that's a brown. Crazy. Um, and then the last one is Stride of Pride, and this one is a highlighty shade. It's the size of a highlighter, but it is um, a little too dark for me, so I would probably just use it as an eyeshadow. I was tempted to depot all of these, but I don't know how easy that would be to do, so I just haven't. The next one is Basic Bitch, and uh, I have been guilty of being one of those. <laughs> um, I haven't used this one yet because I haven't taped this on the mirror area, so I'll just put it in front of me and start. The first one is Sly Girl, which is like a really shimmery kind of purpley color. It resembles that one in my Dazzle Shadow, or no, I can't remember what they're called, um, Pro... I can't remember. It was one of the big ones with the purple is the grape, the black grape color. And then this one's called Me, 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 which looks like just a matte white. Maybe it's a shimmery. I can't tell. What is this? It kind of just looks like a matte or a satin white, maybe satin. It's really good though, actually. Um, and then the next one is Tattletail. And I'm gonna just double swatch some of these because they're like really pigmented when you double swatch, but like, yeah, really pretty palettes so far. Like, I don't know why I haven't been in these more. This one is Hell on Heels. That's gorgeous too. I love these like um, reddish, rosy kind of transition-y type shades. Um, this one is Miss Personality. I will double swatch that one too. And then Big White Lie, which you think that would be the whiter shade, you know what I'm saying? Like that one should have been Big White Lie. Um, <laughs> I just wear the makeup, I don't know. The next one is Game Player, which is really, really a dark color. Gorgeous. Very resemblant to carbon, but almost a little more pigmented, um, kind of, I guess. It just, it looks to me like when I swatch carbon, it's just not as dark as that. The next one is Love This Bitch, and that one, again, is like the highlighter shade. And I apologize for my words, but that's what is written, so that's what I'm saying. 
but I apologize anyway. <laughs> so that one is Basic Bitch. That's that palette. The next one is Prissy Princess, and that one was, um, that's not what I read when I when I first saw it. That was brutal. Um, so the first one is oh, these are backwards. Here we go. So I guess I should show you what this looks like. So it's just really blah palette for me. This is just like the superest neutral palette I've ever seen. It's a super neutral palette. <laughs> um, color me spoiled. Just a basic -y white pink color. Um, this one is called Sweet Tart. Then Eternal Optimist. That one's very soft. I guess I just have to play a little bit, but it's just very soft. It's, it, and I mean in texture as well as the swatch. Like when you see it, it's not very bold or vibrant. It's just a very soft eyeshadow look. Um, too good to be true. And this one looks so stunning. Holy crap. It just looks like a topper almost. But so pretty. Like when you see it on my finger, it looks foiled, but when you see it on the swatch, it just looks like a topper. So I'd have to play around with that one. Um, it's really pretty though. The next one is Prissy Princess, which is the name of the palette, which again, very soft, very cool toned. Um, the next one is Spoil Yourself, which is a very dark shade, but again, just doesn't, it just lacks a little bit of pigmentation for me. So just this whole palette is just not something I would normally gravitate toward, but um, whatever, whatever. I'll see if I can make it work. This one is Good Girl and You Know It. I mean, if you have to say it. <laughs> Probably not. Um, and then the last one is She's a Rainbow, which is the highlighter shade. which really does not show a much reflection or anything. I'm not sure if that's like just because of my arm is like dry, but when you pick it up on your finger, you can kind of see it, but it's very, very sheared out. Just very sheer. Okay, let's move on because we're not getting anywhere with that one. I just don't like having a lot of fallout in my eyeshadow palettes. I don't like them looking dirty, so I'll have to go back and wipe these with alcohol later. <laughs> um, and then this one is Power Hungry, which looks pretty nice. I like it, I guess, I don't know. I guess they could have made this a little more, um, it looks okay, but it doesn't look like Power Hungry would look. I guess it's just because of the gold, I don't know. Anyways, let's move on. So the inside looks like this. The highlighter looks really interesting to me and I think I'm going to have to try this palette soon. This one is called Totally Obsessed. And it's just basically the same color as my skin shade. You can almost not see that. The next one is Bling Mistress. The next one is Bossing, is it Bossing It? bossing it sure we'll go with that bossing it I don't know what that means but whatever very very cool toned soft eyeshadows this one is called hot to trot and it's really not that hot to trot it's just basic can barely even see it, it looks like dirt on my arm let's see it would probably look a lot better on um, primer, like an eyeshadow primer. And then there is winsome, lose some. Like winsome is one word. I don't know if it's meant to be, but it's printed that way, which is right there. Something's fishy, which is really kind of reflective. The little one of the last one is dangerously elegant. 
again, just this is such a very basic palette. I like the top two, but the bottom two are just very cool toned and basic for me. And then the highlighter shade is called Gimme That. Let's see. No, don't give me that. <laughs> it's not that good. Let's see. Like, and you guys know I am, I love Mac, so come on, Mac. But they have, like, double gleam and all that kind of stuff in their highlighting selection. But this one just lacks. It lacks for me a little bit. All right. We are almost done. This is just killing me leaving these dirty like this. But I'll move on. Okay. The next one is the Holiday Palette. And this is the final one in this swatch video. My fingers are starting to burn, but it's all good. So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, are the colors on the back? Yeah, I'm going to swatch these all out really quickly. And I'm just going to... I'll put the colors here. This one is going to be super, super light. I hope you guys can see these really good. I've actually used this one a little bit, but... Um, I think I might want to do this one. It's either this or something more fun for my holiday look. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I want to do like a family picture because we can't go see Santa. But anyways, back to the swatches. <laughs> so the first one is called Winter Lude, which is right here it's this one right here you can probably not see it it's a very like beige shade the next one is called no curfew which is this soft brown shade here which is gorgeous the next one is she sparkles which is a da dazzle shadow which is so pretty and then the next one is um shiver of delight which is also a dazzle shadow which is the more peachy toned one and you can see like lots of dazzle in there uh, and then Budding Passion, which is here, and Drama in the Snow, which is right here. I think that's how that went. It doesn't say left to right, and I would think that the Drama in the Snow would be like the really light one. So I'm hoping I didn't get those backwards, but no, I didn't. That's so weird. Anyways, I, I feel like they name their light shadows the same as what their dark shadow should be and vice versa, but... Whatever, I don't name them. I would love to be able to name eyeshadows. I think that would be so much fun. But anyhow, that's everything that I have for my palettes, the, the long MAC ones. So the next ones will be, and I actually only have these. So those ones will be my next one. And that will be it for my MAC swatches. I can't wait to show you guys everything that I have. I, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I know not everyone gravitates towards MAC a lot, but I just like to refresh how great they are. And they've always had like a good recycle program, so good sustainability. They have their rewards program, so you get something free, like a lipstick, an eyeshadow, or a lip gloss, depending if you go to a full-size store, like a, a standalone store or a pro store, or if you're just going to something like in um, a... Uh, the bay or in the states, I think in Macy's or whatever would have it. Um, there, I think you only get a lipstick. So. If you go to a pro store or a standalone store, you get eyeshadow, lipstick, or lip gloss for six empty units. And so always save, even if you don't completely use it up, you, they will take that back as well. Um, and then, yeah, they like they, they stand for so much. They've always stood for so much. They stand behind a lot of people. They're very supportive of um, like all ages, all sexes, all races. And I just want to make sure that people don't forget that they have a lot of good to stand behind. So don't forget to give them a, a check out. I will leave their website below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.